A scam is targeting Michigan small businesses and they're using a popular Detroit event to do it. The woman who created this event to showcase hundreds of small businesses is warning vendors and clearing her company's name. Megan Woods shows us what happened and how to make sure that you don't fall victim. You may have heard of All Things Marketplace in Corktown or maybe their major event, All Things Detroit. Well, someone's impersonating them to scam money from small businesses. First of all, it set my anxiety way high because the last thing that I want people to do is to tie the Ask Jennifer brand or All Things Detroit with scamming. Jennifer Crawford Williams built her brand from the ground up more than 10 years ago. I'm an advocate for small business. But now someone is using her brand for the exact opposite. A small business owner reached out to me to inform me that someone was actually reaching out to them to collect funds for them to participate in All Things Detroit. Uh, we've been booked and sold out in our space uh, uh, for weeks now. Those vendors pay more than $200 to participate, but this person was charging $85 and sent an email telling this business owner they received their application. And it was a very rude email, actually. It said, uh, if you want this space or whatever, you know, you have to send this money to Zelle or Cash App. And I'm thinking, we don't even use Zelle or Cash App for payments, number one. And so that was a red flag for me. And I immediately told her, please do not send this person any money. But I was too late. She had already sent a small fee to them. That business owner reported the email to PayPal and is working to get their money back. The Better Business Bureau says they've seen this scam time and time again. I wish we could say there was a certain population that was immune to scams. Not anymore. Technology is not our friend in this in this regard. There are warning signs. The biggest one is how they're asking you to pay. But that's not all you should look out for. If the deal sounds outside of the norm, it's a first red flag. So you take your time. The other thing is, is if somebody's contacting you with that too good to be true offer, thank them, get their contact information, and then go to that organization's website. Or even better, call them. In Detroit, Megan Woods, Local 4.